and nobody's going to push you to the tracks and kill you. Because Subways in China are super bad quality, bad design, the most beautiful I've ever been to, but no, I think I need to change to this one. Everything looks so beautiful and I just can't give credit. Hello everyone, to welcome back to another video. Today I am in the incredible, amazing city of Chengdu. And as you can tell, I am visiting this city's subway system as I usually do in every city I go in China. I've been already for a few minutes in a few stations and I just can't believe the beauty of each station I want to show you during this video. So let's go together on this tour around Chengdu subway system. The name of the station is Huanghua Yuan. It's almost one hour and a half away from the place where I am staying, but I didn't really care too much because I actually wanted to visit this very station. This station particularly, I wanted to come here first because uh, I saw some pictures and I found it one of the most striking stations I've ever been to in China, actually all around the world. The design, is using a lot of different Chinese patterns, colors, and cultural items, flowers, colors, and architecture characteristics that makes it so, so unique. Everything looks so beautiful, and I just can't give credit to what I'm seeing right now. It really looks like a, like a palace somehow, like a traditional ancient palace. It looks really, really good. The tracks actually look equally beautiful as you can tell and uh, this is uh, late night time so there are not many people which actually lets you appreciate even better the beauty of the stations. I think right now China designing subway systems is putting more effort and giving priority to the way the stations look like. It's not just about um, making the travel efficient but also more enjoyable like every station is designed in a different way makes you feel like you're in a museum or in a park or in an ancient palace like this station right here and I like to see that kind of progresses and improvements on this kind of uh, transportation systems and it's happening all around China I think I would need to change my mind. I know the previous station I said that was the most beautiful I've ever been to, but no, I think I need to change to this one. Like I just arrived in this station and I couldn't believe the way this station is designed. It looks so futuristic yet so traditional. I don't know how they do it. Like the way they blend colors, materials and uh, mixing part of the Chinese culture with modern touch. Chengdu Metro is now the fifth largest subway system in the world after Shanghai, Beijing, Guangzhou, and Shenzhen. And I've been to all of them. Yeah, I could say I've been to the five largest subway systems in the world. And actually eight or nine out of the 10 largest subway systems in the world are here in China. Now I have a new goal. I want to go to all of them. 10 largest subway systems in the world. I need to visit all of them because most of them are here in China. We are 
checked me out in another beautiful station that was on my list. This is called Qingyan Taoist Temple. Some of the stations, like some of the names of the stations have an English name. Some other, they just simply use the pinyin name for English speakers. Not every name in Chinese has an exact translation to English. So they use the pinyin to name some of the stations in every single subway in China. However, they are changing that a little bit to use only pinyin instead of a translation to English. That happened actually in some of the stations in Shenzhen. But here we can still see some English names like temple, road, school, hospital, cultural park. These kind of names are still part of the naming system in English for the stations of the Chengdu subway. We're still finding some differences between uh, uh, the names and the numbers in the stations. Like for example here, we can see this is line 5 and then on the other side we have the number of the station. So if we come all the way here, we can see line 5, station 1, line 5, station 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on and so forth until we reach station 41 here which is Huilong. I was recently in New York City and I actually made another video comparing a little bit the subway system in New York and some of the best subway systems here in China. Some people are arguing about which one works better, which one offers a better service. Some people are saying that subways in China are super bad quality, bad design, and uh, they're calling like tough constructions. I don't see that happening. I don't really think it's that way. Actually, I believe subway systems in China are improving over time, are better quality. The materials we're using and actually the designs we're seeing in these kind of subways are way better than a few years ago. So only time will tell, but I really doubt those haters are right. Riding a subway in China actually is a good experience, but I think there's still a long way to go, especially when it comes to the behavior of the people. I mean, there's still a few things society in China needs to improve somehow. For instance, when we are boarding a train here in China, people don't really wait the people who is arriving from the train to leave first before boarding the train. Even though there are a lot of announcements asking people to please wait for people to disembark first before boarding the train. People don't really pay attention to that and they just go inside before you can actually get off the train. That is a little bit annoying. The other part that needs to change, lower down the volume of the speakers of their phones because they really like to watch our videos or make phone calls with the speaker of the phone, which is absolutely annoying and uh, I think that also is something needs to change. And as I always highlight the good part of the experience of riding a subway here in China, I think it's okay to mention the things that are still yet to improve, right? Two things are important in subways here in China. Number one, cleanliness. It's absolutely pristine, every single station. So beautiful, so clean, so well kept. And second, safety. Nobody's going to rob you. Nobody's going to steal anything from you 
and nobody's going to push you to the tracks and kill you because all the stations have gates that divide the trains from the tracks. So that is safe. You know, making this kind of videos is not an easy task. It takes a lot of time and uh, energy to go to so many stations. So how can you support giving a like to this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet so you can enjoy the upcoming videos about infrastructure and travels here in China. Folks, I'm going to be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day today and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow-up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching and stay safe until next time.